In today's video, we'll take a look at uh, calibration and just an introduction to it because this could cover a whole range of subjects. So, but we'll look primarily at uh, the idea of the collision bounds for each object as it basically collides with the boundaries that it's looking at. So let's take a look at the uh, cube in this case. Again, now I've changed it back to being a uh, rigid body cube, so it's rotating again. And let's go place it inside here like this. And the one thing I have done, let me see if I can look closely in here like this. I'll zoom it down, change our perspective a little bit like this. We'll get a little bit closer in than normal. See if we can see the edge. Normally the cube you'd notice in some of the earlier videos, the corners of the cube were bleeding through the, the boundaries like this. And that's partially because of the way the boundary was uh, surrounding the cube. In fact, I'll put a bunch in here like this. And in this case, what I've done, I've intentionally made the boundary around the cube a little bit larger than it needs to be. Okay, so it's just a box boundary, but it's just slightly bigger in hopes that, let's see, well, and look, in that case, that's not really working that well because I can see already it's pushing, maybe it's because it's on there that it's trying to. Oh, maybe those are squeezing out because they forgot to put... No, the lid's on top. The lid is on top. Here, let me stir this up a little bit, too. See if I can get those guys to lay in there at the same time. Might as well take advantage of these new tools. But I can see now that that isn't really working as well. I, I would I thought that maybe that would keep the cues from escaping it, but it actually is worse. So the collision detection is worse. And so that's what the kind of calibration I'm talking about on this first pass. And I can see this first attempt doesn't work very well because it looks like a lot more of them are actually escaping from here. Let me look at it from a different view. Let's see. Like this. Let's see if they're actually escaping. Whoops. Get to get this guy back inside there. Uh, they're escaping out that one side, maybe. Oh, I see they're escaping from there. I'm not sure why. But so that's really something that I'm going to have to carefully take a look at as far as uh, this form of calibration is concerned. And then, uh, of course, we're going to have to look at the numerics, the type of physics engine, the, you know, how many bits of precision are used in the, uh, in the numbers, double precision, you know, or floating point or some high precision floating point library and there's a great deal of things to consider in this category so we'll just touch on this a little bit as we go and uh, maybe as we evolve and the approximations get closer and closer then we'll you know really have to delve deeply into this subject okay well that's it for this video and I'll see you in the next video